Welcome everyone to the Merry Makers Christmas Craft Collab hosted by Debbie and a ton of us are joining in for the next four weeks. We are going to be doing a ton of Christmas crafts. We've got four weeks of crafty inspiration to get you set up for the holiday season. We'll go live at 1 p.m. Eastern. Welcome everyone. This is Letty. I have hashtag Merry Makers Crafty Collab. It's a crafty collab video. This is week number three, which is Christmas cards and or any kind of holiday cards this week. Welcome back everyone. So I'm joining in on the hashtag Merry Makers Crafty Collab. This is a collab hosted by Debbie over at Project 39 Mini Albums. There are a ton of collab participants and a playlist. I'm gonna list everybody down in the description box below. This is week number three. So this is card week. We're making Christmas cards and or holiday cards uh, for this week's part of the collab. So I have previous crafty tutorials that I've done this month so far. I have three different card making videos. I'm gonna link them all down below um, where I use my not too shabby design team items so I had the paper pad club this comes with two paper pads these are the two that came this month and then also the add-on ephemera pack um, super super cute and then a stamp and die set of the month these were all again part of my design team that I was working with this month and so I did three crafty videos making cards um, I have those listed down below so you can see the tutorials I also did bring in the snowy pastels paper pad and ephemera and I showcased that in one of the videos so I'm going to show you all the cards that I made in all three of those videos plus I made some additional cards I used the candy cane lane by doodle bug this is just a pack of the puffy icon stickers um, um, these are some of the ones I used from today, but I did bring in several of the pieces and elements from that collection. So here are the doodle bug cards that I made. These are just some basic layered cards. I've got a large cardstock mat. It's four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a mat that's just a quarter inch smaller on both sides, smaller than that. And, and then I layered it up with pieces of ephemera and stickers and odds and ends and enamel or enamel dots, you know, puffy stickers or puffy icons. So I just, I kind of layered up these cards using all the different elements that came with the collection. I did also put some scraps on the inside and I added some little stickers just to kind of further embellish the inside. So I just really wanted to try to use up some of my stash from this collection. I believe this collection was from 2022, It's but it's so super cute. So I added some little puffy icon trees down at the bottom and then some at the top. And again, I use the like words and phrases, the odds and ends, um, the ephemera pieces. I use a little bit of everything from this collection to make these super quick and easy basic cards. I did make some horizontal and vertical ones. You see here, I have all the different little puffy icons. And then I did layer up some scraps behind some of these elements as well. So that was a really fun part of this project. I was able to use up lots of scraps that I had already cut down. I used up one of these tags and I used a scrap here, added some of those puffy icons, like the puffy stickers. And then again, another little sentiment from the words and phrases. So I didn't have to do any stamping. I didn't have to do any coloring. I literally just used up the elements that I had purchased uh, and I had in my stash from a couple years ago. So super fun, super cute cards. Again, that candy cane lane by Doodlebug was the collection for that set of cards. And then I, again, had three videos for my design team where I showcased three different card tutorials. Here was the first one. I did the Polaroid cards um, and they're so super fun and so easy, so, so easy. You have a three by three that's layered on a three and a quarter by three and a quarter card stock. And then it's all on top of a large A2 mat. I did bring in the stamp set and then of course the ephemera pieces. I also did add some enamel dots that I had in my stash. Um, most of them were from Not Too Shabby, but these are such quick and easy cards. If you want some really easy card designs, like I said, I'll list all of those card tutorials down in the description box below. I made them just a couple weeks ago. And then the next one I had was the Crafty Mama Diary sketch number one. I popped up that ephemera piece on foam dimensional tape, added a scrap on the inside, added a stamp sentiment. This also came from the stamp and die set of the month, added some enamel dots, and uh, those were my super quick and easy cards for that week, for that, you know, week's video that I had done. So I also layered up some scalloped circles on some of these. And then on this one, I changed up the sketch just a tiny bit by expanding it, all the decorating elements. So those were, again, the... The, some of the cards I made, but I also did make some using that second collection of paper, um, which is the snowy pastels. And this was, these were the three cards I made. One of the things that were different was I did not cut a little fishtail banner on that piece of paper that's kind of stretched across the front. 
So, and then I had one more card tutorial for my design team and it was these, these window cards. I had four equal little small panels that I glued on top of a card stock, popped up again, a piece of ephemera, added a stamp sentiment, some enamel dots, and those were my cards. I made four in that video. And I do have a little twist on uh, with this card design. This I told you in that video, this was one of my favorites. So I went ahead and I made some additional cards for this video here. Um, I had printed up this little sentiment and then I layered it on some metallic cardstock. I think it's like a rose gold uh, sort of metallic cardstock. And then I also layered it on a scallop circle. I did keep it flat for the purpose of these cards. I didn't want to have them too, too bulky. Um, and I'm showing you here the difference. On this one, I added an extra little layering mat um, that was like a 1 8 inch larger than the other one. So it leaves like a 1 16th inch border all the way around the panels. Um, and then here's the one right next to it that does not have uh, the additional little mats. You can see the shine from the metallic cardstock around the circle and then of course on those panels. So, and then these two, I just had them same. I had them on some black mats. So I just wanted to, again, throw in some additional uh, cards using that sketch. This again was for week three, which was Christmas cards and or holiday cards. Um, and I added in those doodle bug. And then I also had the three card tutorials that I had for the Not Too Shabby design team but then I also did add that additional set of cards that I had made and I'll link all those crafty tutorials down in the description box below again this was for the hashtag Mary Makers crafty collab so happy crafting everyone thanks so much for visiting everyone I hope you got a little bit of inspiration this week make sure you check out the playlist down below so you can get all of that inspiration from the team